What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review today from Star Wars The Black Series. We are taking a look at the Deluxe Ned B from the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus show. This is the latest deluxe figure to make its way to the basement here. We are getting a brand new sculpt with this figure, although unfortunately it does continue the trend of something that doesn't exactly feel like it's worth the deluxe price tag, but we'll talk more about that a little bit later in the review. For now, let's just go ahead and focus on the packaging here. This is plastic free. As you can see, we have a digital render of Ned B on the front. I really do think that we need to switch this to the actual figure. We also have a shot of the mural on the side, which does look pretty good. I like the illustration there. On the back of the packaging, just like all Kenobi figures, it just has a general blurb about the series. We also have another shot of the digital render of Ned. It is the 10th figure in the Kenobi line. And now my new favorite part about these plastic free packaging boxes are the spines here that actually show you the figure is 6.6 .6 inches and also the accessories that you get in the package as well. And last but not least, here's the barcode on the bottom. So as far as a plastic free presentation goes, I do think Black Series is probably my favorite that I've seen so far. I still think we need to get away from using a digital render on the front of the packaging, but I can't deny that this isn't just a nice sleek presentation here, and thankfully they are continuing the mural as well. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Ned's two accessories. First up, something we have seen before here, and this is that classic B1 Battle Droid Blaster. This time, no paint apps on this at all, not a single stroke of dry brushing to be had here. It is just cast in a gunmetal grayish plastic. We do get a newly sculpted hammer here. It's actually pretty neat. Definitely makes Ned a little bit of a unique character with having a weapon like this. It does have a little bit of paint on it. We get a little bit of brown and black on the handle, but the top piece here is nicely sculpted. However, absent of any sort of paint app detail and just a quick turnaround of the hammer here. And now let's take a look at Ned. All right, and here is Ned out of the packaging and looking pretty awesome here. You can see he is pretty brightly colored, definitely a lighter yellow and blue than what we saw in the actual Kenobi series. This is definitely something that's happened with a few figures in the past, so it's really not all that surprising, but it does unfortunately make this kind of have more of a, you know, action figure look to it but this is a brand new sculpt head to toe 100 percent which is honestly kind of crazy given the short amount of screen time that we actually saw ned in maybe they're going to do some sort of like credit collection series for kenobi to kind of make up the cost on this but it does seem kind of an oddball choice for a 100 percent brand new figure but it is still awesome i am a huge fan of black series droids i typically think that hasbro does a pretty great job now, there's definitely some things that I'm going to nitpick about this figure and definitely, like I said earlier, falls into the category of did this really need to be a deluxe figure? Like, yes, it is a new sculpt, but we get plenty of newly sculpted figures that come to the main line that are just regularly priced. And I think Ned definitely suffers from being a little bit expensive for what we get. So let's go ahead, we'll pull them off the stand and get a close look at the details. And I wanna start right off by saying that I think the sculpting here is absolutely fantastic. The detail work throughout on this figure is some of the best work we've seen from Hasbro. That being said, I definitely think we could have gotten some more paint on this guy, especially when we're paying the deluxe price for it. The paint that we do have on the figure is nice, don't get me wrong, I do like it, but I just think we could have got a little bit more, maybe some sort of darker wash over the entire figure to just give it a little bit more of a gritty, grimy Kenobi series look because as it stands, Ned is very, very brightly colored and even the blue pops like crazy. I mean, I like the way it looks because it's visually pleasing, but definitely could have been darker because as far as my memory serves it is not this light in the tv series the backpack does come detached but i didn't include it as an accessory because you just 
plug it into his back here and it just sits there so i don't know it doesn't really seem right to call that an accessory but hey look at this we do get a little bit of paint on the back of the figure of course nowhere else absolutely not but on this little part right here Hasbro was spared no expense and gave us a little paint on the back. Flipping back around to the forward pieces here, outside of the little bit of battle damage paint we have, the only other things that are actually painted are the arms here. You can see the yellow is a different shade and texture, so you know that's painted. And it doesn't really match up all that well. It's less noticeable to the naked eye, but on camera things are always amplified, especially with the bright studio lighting. And the gauntlet here is painted as well, and that looks really awesome. But again, it's just super vibrant, bright blue. And the other arm here is painted as well, and you can see, again, the paint doesn't quite match up to the plastic color, which is to be expected. That pretty much happens on every Hasbro figure, but still, I'll point it out anyways. Especially when we are paying so much for this figure. The torso does have some really nice details along with the legs as well and we do get a little bit more paint going down and on the feet as well so like i said the sculpt here is incredible it looks exactly like ned b does in the actual series but i definitely think they should have utilized a little bit more paint to make this figure look a little darker and grimier just to have a better reflection of what we see in the series now, one of the most fun things about most droids in the Black Series is the articulation. Ned B is a pretty fun example, although his bulky design definitely hinders him just a little bit. But we'll go ahead and show that the head looks up just a little bit and looks down just a little bit as well. It is on a double neck peg, but it is somewhat restricted due to the sculpt. But you can see, you can twist it all the way around if you choose and it works perfectly fine there. Plenty of attitude as well. As far as the shoulders go, they can move up pretty far, not all the way. Again, the bulkier design here is somewhat restricting, but they can rotate around pretty easily. Ned does have butterfly joints, so that is always a plus, and you can actually get quite a bit of range out of them. You just kind of got to work it a little bit and we actually have swivel at the top of the elbow and the bottom of the elbow unfortunately just like the dark trooper due to the design here we get a single jointed elbow that really doesn't give us a whole lot of range you can actually see on ned b it's a little less than 90 degrees we also have a trigger finger hand on this side here but you can definitely tell it wasn't really sculpted to hold this blaster uh, I find the best way that I've just been doing it is just through the top first finger here and having him hold it like that because otherwise it kind of looks goofy and it doesn't really look exactly right if you, you know, put it in like this. So that's a little bit of bummer in terms of the trigger finger hand design. That and we also have a horizontal hinge here and of course rotation as well. And then same for the gripping hand. Unfortunately, it's a horizontal hinge and I think that is... One of the major reasons you can't actually pose Ned how you see him on the box holding the hammer slung over his shoulder. When you take a look here, you could clearly see the hammer is basically resting on Ned B's chest there. But the articulation itself makes it almost impossible for you to do this because of the limited elbow and because of the way the joint on the wrist works. If it would have been vertical, it probably would have been a lot easier to achieve this pose, but yeah as you can see it really doesn't work so you kind of got to do like some trick photography here to make it look somewhat acceptable but yeah i find that that's a little disappointing as far as a crunch is concerned ned actually does have a pretty decent one forward there for a black series figure going back is just okay but we do also get some rotation in there and side to side as well the legs can kick all the way out on the body. We do just get a little bit of split action due to the design. Decent amount of kickback though. Thigh swivel of course. And another swivel actually in the hip socket as well. Single jointed knee that gives you 90 degrees and again it swivels at the top of the knee and also swivels at the bottom of the knee. And the feet can go down pretty far. They can go up just a little bit but he does have ankle pivot and peg holes. So Ned B is definitely a little bulky, but you could still get some okay poses out of the figure. 
And of course, having him in just a neutral stance is pretty nice as well. I think we could have possibly gotten a little bit better articulation in the elbows, but otherwise it is pretty decent and I am happy to see some butterfly joints on this figure as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some comparisons here so you can see Ned's scale. And first up here, we have some Kenobi figures. We have the Darth Vader reissue and the Wandering Jedi Kenobi. And again, this brings up another point about Ned B and his status as a deluxe figure. You can see that Darth Vader is pretty much the same exact height. Yes, Ned's a little bit bulkier, but if Darth Vader could be a standard figure, I really feel like there's no reason that Ned B shouldn't have also just been a standard figure. We don't get any extra accessories. We do get a decent amount of paint on the figure, but I still think for the deluxe price, there could have been more. And to bring it in with the character not actually being all that large, because typically sometimes you can explain away the deluxe price because big figure, but as you can see right here, Ned is really not all that sizable. And just for some funsies, here is Ned posed up with some other brand new droids we've recently gotten in the line. We've got the Dark Trooper and the New Republic security droid. And last but not least, for some import action, we have the SH Figure Arts Mandalorian Season 2 Boba Fett along with the Mafex Empire Strikes Back release as well. And so there you have it. There was my review of the brand new Deluxe Ned B figure. I definitely think that this is one that is not worthy of the Deluxe title. It is still a fun figure. However, I strongly believe that this could have easily just been a standard release. We've seen plenty of characters that are big like this released as standard figures in the past, so I really feel like Ned could have been included with that. Also, with the shortcomings in the accessories and the paint department, yeah, I definitely think that Ned is a figure that could be held off on until it is on a sale price. Thankfully, it is a non-exclusive deluxe release, so I'm sure at some point it will hit clearance. And I am so happy that my Amazon pre-order for some reason dropped all the way down to about $21. So I personally paid about standard price for this figure, so I'm not too insulted. But if I would have paid that full price, yeah, I'd probably be feeling a little bit more heated with this figure. But that's my review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. If you'd like to support us directly, we do offer a channel membership for 99 cents a month. We also have a small collection of merch as well. There's links for everything in the description of this video. Special thank you to our current channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for simply watching, liking, and subscribing. Share this video with all your Star Wars figure-loving friends. I'm Nate from Out of the Basement, and I will see you next time.